Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP Lectures. In this video, we will learn about some basic sequences which are unit sample sequence and unit step sequence. We will also learn whether these sequences are bounded is an energy signal or a power signal. So let's start our lecture. The unit sample sequence is one of the most useful and simplest sequences and is denoted by Do of n and is defined as Do of n equal to 1 for n equal to 0 and equal to 0 for n not equal to 0. And here is how it is graphically represented. This sequence is also called a discrete time impulse or simply the unit impulse. Now let us play with time shifting of unit impulse. Consider this sequence. Here it is time shifted to the right by one unit or in other words it is delayed by one unit. We learned about delaying operation in lecture 3 and therefore this sequence is Do of n minus 1. Let us consider one more sequence. Here, the sequence is time shifted to the left by 4 units or in other words, we can say it is advanced by 4 samples. Again, as per what we learned in lecture 3, this sequence is given by Do of n minus minus 4 which is Do of n plus 4. So, in general, a unit sample sequence shifted by k samples is Do of n minus k which is equal to 1 when n equal to k and is equal to 0 when n not equal to k. Let us now check if Do of n is a bounded sequence. We learned in lecture 4 that a sequence is bounded if magnitude of x of n less than or equal to bx less than or equal to infinity where bx is a positive number. For the case of unit impulse, the maximum magnitude it can go is bx equal to 1. Therefore, it is a bounded sequence. Now, let us see if it is an energy signal or a power signal. Energy E is equal to sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude of x of n squared which is sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude of do of n squared and this is equal to 1 therefore energy is finite. So average power p is equal to total energy by total length which is 1 by infinity which will be 0. So we have finite energy and 0 average power. Therefore Do of n is an energy signal. Okay. The next basic sequence we have is unit step sequence. It is denoted by u of n and is defined as u of n equal to 1 when n greater than or equal to 0 and equal to 0 when n less than 0. And here is how it is graphically represented. Also, just like before, a unit step sequence shifted by k samples is given by u of n minus k equal to 1 for n greater than or equal to k and equal to 0 for n less than k. Now let us see if u of n is a bounded sequence. As you have seen, all the samples have a value of 1. So bx is equal to 1 which is less than infinity and therefore u of n is a bounded sequence. Let us also see if the sequence is an energy signal or a power signal. Here energy E equal to sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity 
magnitude of x of n squared which is sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of 1 squared which is 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus etc and the length of the sequence is infinite therefore the summation is also infinite now let us compute the average power p is equal to limit capital n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma n equal to minus capital n to plus capital n magnitude of x of n squared which is limit capital n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of u of n squared which is limit capital n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into 1 plus 1 plus 1 etc and the length of this sequence is n plus 1 and we know that repeated addition is multiplication therefore we can write limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into n plus 1 if we divide the numerator and denominator by capital N we get limit capital N tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by capital N by 2 plus 1 by capital N which is equal to 1 plus 1 by infinity by 2 plus 1 by infinity which is equal to 1 by 2 therefore average power is finite and energy is infinite therefore u of n is a power signal okay so far we have learned about unit sample sequence and unit step sequence now let us see how these two sequences are related consider this unit impulse sequence it is do of n now let us consider another unit impulse that is delayed by one sample this will be do of n minus 1 let us consider one more unit impulse that is delayed by two samples this will be do of n minus 2 similarly consider delayed unit impulses till do of n minus k where k tends to infinity now if you add up all these unit impulse sequences you will see that we get a train of impulses starting from n equal to 0 this is given by do of n plus do of n minus 1 plus do of n minus 2 plus etc plus do of n minus k plus etc where k tends to infinity and as you might have noticed this sequence is none other than our unit step sequence so this summation is equal to u of n so we can write u of n equal to sigma k equal to 0 to infinity do of n minus k this is one way to relate between unit step and unit impulse sequence there is also one more way to relate between unit impulse and unit step sequences for that consider this unit step sequence this as you know is u of n now let us also consider a unit step sequence delayed by one sample this will be u of n minus 1 now if you subtract this sequence from this sequence all these instances will become 0 
and you get a new sequence which will be like this. As you can see, this is none other than our unit impulse. Therefore, we can write do of n equal to u of n minus u of n minus 1. So, this is another way to relate between unit impulse and unit step sequence. The next topic we need to learn is why unit impulse and unit step sequences are called elementary sequences. This is because any other sequence can be generated from them. For example, consider this RAM sequence. It can be expressed as R of n equal to 0 into do of n plus 1 into do of n minus 1 plus 2 into do of n minus 2 plus 3 into do of n minus 3 plus 4 into do of n minus 4 and so on. And this is sigma k equal to 0 to infinity k into do of n minus k. So we have expressed the RAM sequence in terms of unit impulse. The RAM sequence can also be expressed in terms of unit step and that is r of n equal to n into u of n. Okay. Let us also see one more sequence. We will try to express this sequence using elementary sequences. Using unit impulses, this can be written as x of n equal to, this is 2 times do of n plus 2. Therefore, 2 into do of n plus 2 plus this is do of n plus 1. Therefore, 1 into do of n plus 1 plus here we have 0. Therefore, 0 into do of n plus this is do of n minus 1. Therefore, 1 into do of n minus 1 plus and this is 2 times do of n minus 2. Therefore, 2 times do of n minus 2. Now let us try to represent this using unit step sequence. For that first we need to create this window from n equal to minus 2 to n equal to plus 2. So let us make a sequence u of n plus 2. Let us also make a sequence u of n minus 3. If we subtract u of n minus 3 from u of n plus 2, we get this corresponding window like this. The equation for this window is x1 of n equal to u of n plus 2 minus u of n minus 3. But every sample of this window has a magnitude of 1. So we will multiply each sample of this sequence with magnitude of n. Thus we get the sequence we need. This sequence is x of n equal to magnitude of n into x1 of n. And this is magnitude of n into u of n plus 2 minus u of n minus 3. So this is how our sequence is expressed in terms of unit step sequence. I understand that some of you are unsure about this expression. So let us verify this. For n equal to minus 2, we have x of minus 2, which will be magnitude of minus 2 into u of n plus 2 and n is minus 2. Therefore, minus 2 plus 2 minus u of minus 2 minus 3. This is equal to 2 into u of 0 minus u of minus 5. And we have defined u of n as 1 when n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 when n less than 0. Therefore, u of minus 5 will be 0 because 
here n is equal to minus 5 which is less than 0 and we have learned that when n is less than 0 the magnitude of u of n is 0. Similarly u of 0 is equal to 1 because here n is equal to 0 and we learned that when n is greater than or equal to 0 we have u of n equal to 1. Therefore x of minus 2 equal to 2 into 1 minus 0 which is 2 and in our graph also x of minus 2 is equal to 2. Similarly at n equal to minus 1 we have x of minus 1 equal to magnitude of minus 1 into u of minus 1 plus 2 minus u of minus 1 minus 3 which is equal to 1 into u of 1 minus u of minus 4 and just like before u of minus 4 is equal to 0 because n is equal to minus 4 here which is less than 0 and therefore u of minus 4 will be 0. Similarly u of 1 will be 1 and thus x of minus 1 is equal to 1 into 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 and in our graph also x of minus 1 is 1. Similarly if you check for n equal to 0, 1 and 2 we get x of 0 equal to 0, x of 1 equal to 1 and x of 2 equal to 2. Ok so I hope that now you understood how any signal can be generated using do of n and u of n. We also have two more signals to be learned exponential sequence and sinusoidal sequence. To summarize this lecture we have learned about unit impulse sequence and unit step sequence, their definitions and their graphical representations. I hope that all the concepts that were taught in this video are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comments. Either we or some other viewer will surely help you out. If you found this lecture useful, please like the video and also support us by subscribing to the channel. In the next video, we will learn about exponential sequences and sinusoidal sequences. Thank you for watching properly and have a great day.